Okay, what I'm going to walk you through today is how to install a permanent and leak-free uh, water feed setup for a ball bearing turbo using one of our Pro Waterline kits. Uh, these kits come in all of our turbo packages whenever you're using a ball bearing turbo that needs water cooling. Uh, that's going to be a Garrett unit, uh, Turbonetics, not Precisions because Precision ball bearing turbos use air-cooled cartridges, so you don't run water lines for those. But for the others, you do. And there's some journal bearing that have the ball bearing um, cartridge option that you can use this same setup for. Uh, like I said, this is the kit that we supply in all of our turbo kits. And when I sell an individual uh, oil and water cooled package, this is the kit that comes with it. Um, this is going on a B20 VTEC turbo setup we're building here. So it's pretty common. The fitment is the same, whether it's DB, H series, or you know other types of motors, you can use the same application. Uh, what the kit's gonna come with as far as the hookup is a steel dash six male weld fitting and a dash six to quarter inch uh, aluminum uh, male to male fitting. And what I'm gonna do is I've already pulled the water pipe off the back of the motor. This water pipe connects from the water pump, actually be water pump on this end thermostat housing on the other end so the water feed comes directly from the pump so you've got a good source there and I've already marked it which it sits on the motor this part facing outward so when I put the male fitting here I can it'll face outward towards the back towards the firewall and you'll just route the water line whichever direction you want to go so I get that cleaned up drilled and ready to weld and I'll do that part first and go ahead and show you that since I've already marked it what I'm going to do is go ahead and just center punch it so I'll know where that mark is because I'm going to prep this and it's going to get rid of the X. Um, so yeah, you hit it with a punch, get it prepped up so that you can get a clean weld on it. And go from there. Okay, I got that prepped and ready to weld. All I did was hit it with an abrasive wheel, um, did a pilot hole, cleaned it up, and then went back and drilled the hole to 3 8 And so now I can get ready to weld. It was pretty important before you weld it. Uh, pull the end o-rings off because the pipe's going to hold heat and you don't want to melt or distort the o-rings to keep it from sealing and leaking so I got those off uh, I'll set this to the side and get it ready to weld and on the um, opposite end of things this is the upper radiator outlet uh, that bolts to the side of the head all of these typically either have a threaded port on it or it has a hole that could be threaded. So what I'm gonna do is take this hole, thread it to a quarter inch, and use this male to male adapter and thread it in. And when I screw, uh, drill it, I'm gonna drill it through so it will feed back into this port which leads back out to the upper radiator hose. I'll go ahead and show you how, how I do these in steps. What I do is I first, this hole is 5 8 so I go ahead and run a 5 8 bit through it to get the hole on the inside. What I'll go ahead and do next is go ahead and make another pass through it, uh, 7 16 which is going to be the same size for the quarter inch tap. And that way it'll be good to go so I can go ahead and thread the hole. Now you can see the 7 16 uh, step I did. And I went ahead and stopped here so it wouldn't, you know, go through. So I'll go ahead and take this part and thread it to quarter inch. Okay, I've got that all threaded nicely. If you don't have the bit, I like to use Irwin bits. Um, see if you can see that. It says Hanson, but if you go look for the pack, it'll be Irwin in the yellow and blue package. And it'll say Irwin Hanson in it, which it comes with... Um, the drill bit. So these always come in handy. Every time I need a single, I'll go pick up an Irwin. Just to run back down to make sure there's no burrs or anything. Okay, 
Okay, so I'll go ahead and get this side put together so it can be sitting and ready to go back on the motor once I weld the um, pipe up. What I do is I go ahead and put a bit of MP, uh, Teflon paste on the straight cut side, not on the flare side. Nothing goes on the flare side, but you can put a Teflon paste or Teflon tape on the straight side or the MPT side as these do tighten as they go down, but the paste helps it seal to make sure you don't get a leak in the future. Okay, I've got the water pipe all welded up. It's still a bit warm, so I'll let this cool off for a second. Actually, I'll go stick it in some water to cool it off, and then I'll get the O-rings put back on it. And um, go ahead and go over to the motor, and I'll uh, show you how they go back on. Before I go back over to the motor, I'll go ahead and show you. I went ahead and sanded this back fresh and clean. I'll put a new coat uh, of sealant on it. That way, you know you get a flat and leak-free seal. Okay, now I've got both pieces stuck back on the motor. I'm over in the clean room. Um, you can see the water pipe is back on. It's all bolted back in place. And these do interchange in case you're wondering. This is a uh, Golden Eagle sleeve B20 block uh, that we had assembled. It's a 10 to 1 compression, ready to go um, with a stock B16A2 head out of the Civic SI that it came in. Or what this is going back in is a Civic SI. Um, so yeah, both of these are ready to go. We're going to put the motor back in and crank it in a, so since I'm not going to use it, use the water lines from the get go, I'm going to go ahead and install these flare caps on it. These are vibrant caps that we keep in stock. That way I can plug them both off and not worry about them leaking. Next I'll go ahead and, and um, install a pair of our block breather fittings in the back. And this will be good to go once we put the intake manifold back on. Uh, it's also getting the Golden Eagle intake manifold gasket. Uh, and yeah, it'll be ready to go. So if you have any questions about that, let me know. I can answer them in the comments. Uh, if you want to see me assemble the water lines and how I route them, uh, you know, I can do that and show it to you too. Just let me know. Leave in the comments and I'll get back to it. I appreciate it.